let's see we do have the seven of cups in reverse there is a sense of clarity and a sense of regret when it comes to this connection a sense of missing this person thinking about the partnership seeing a little bit clear the type of partnership you had some realizations um you know and the justice in reverse libra they might be a libra he or she the person you are dealing with but there is a sense of injustice right and a sense of unfairness a sense of lack of expectations not seeing really where this is going to go so let's see what this is all about and as always the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time the most important one and we do have the emperor taking control two of swords in reverse and making decisions so let's see what this is all about can be an aries gemini that you are dealing with and somebody here is very decisive about something so let's see past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have your and your current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome at this time for september and mutual energies bottom of the deck six of wands somebody is ashamed and burdened by, by a situation uh, that they want to take control over right we sense we have a sense of guilt we have a sense of i hope nobody's watching i hope nobody knows nobody's seeing uh, but a decision will be made very soon uh, of some sort an important one um so gemini in the past on your side we do have the hangman um so suspension waiting observing ghosting um kind of um watching them you know and uh the ace of pentacles an offer right we had an offer but we had to stay suspended for a while um this is the energy of we we cannot move just yet it is a sense of patience um but nonetheless a new beginning right you offer them and this is the energy of this is my heart and i'm giving it to you but for you um you know the heart was the stability right um it has a sense of potential so i'm pretty sure gemini you saw a potential in this connection you saw the beauty of it you saw a future with this person uh building together something and um somehow being bound right and uh, to this person in some way and and observing and you know um i would say after a long period of thought and observation probably you made an offer um to this person so Gemini, they might have um, cut you off because we have them in the past with the Ace of Swords energy and the Nine of Swords in reverse and together it's a Ten of Swords. So um, I would say I don't think they had my, much choice. Um, that was something that brought a lot of stress to them, um, be it the communication, be it the coldness, be it the energies that they were not um, really at ease with. So whatever this was, they got very concerned and they, I believe, decided, you know what, let's uh, finish this um, off. And it, it, it seems like a connection that uh, never really took off 100%, uh, but we'll see with the energy. So anyways, a lot of uh, decisions there. And then, oh yeah, it was sudden, it was sudden endings, right? We have the power and the four of swords. Something exploded and then it went... Um, silent right with the four of swords no communication breakup healing the mind uh quieting the noises of the explosion of the tower right it was uh, sudden and painful and explosive and then we needed time to heal i um kind of uh, feel gemini that you went into retreat a little bit better but they lost some feathers in the process and um they might have had no choice actually uh, maybe they brought the tower moment and that's when you know um kind of uh, the situation settled in some way so where are we right now we do have the justice in reverse again libra energy and the six of swords 
uh, tormenting times, right? Tormenting times because the situation is unfair, unjust, out of balance, silenced, um, no final decisions, and we are expecting, right? It's um, justice and six of wands in reverse. Justice in reverse, six of wands in reverse. That is a deep, deep sense of, I, I hope, we, are, we don't have Ill illegalities over here or something that's uh, outside the law, right? But there is a sense of unfairness and injustice and a sense of pain and a sense of torment and a sense of need for a calm of waters. Um, but a decision needs to happen and um, it better happen. Um, it better happens quick because there is also a shame involved, something we don't want people to know that is... Um, you know something i don't want to say shady but um you know it's um a matter of image and it's a matter of um um personal hit in whatever happened now this person of yours they have the hermit in reverse and the six of cups you know it's the only card i don't read in reverse and they miss you and this is the energy of breaking the silence um because they miss you that's their energy right now reminiscent about the past, going through communications that you exchanged, um, messages, um, is the energy of living a little bit in the past, of lessons learned, they went within uh, to understand a little bit this connection and now they want to break the silence. Mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the magician in reverse and we have the seven of cups. That is some food for thought, maybe somebody in it um, is not 100% honest. They might be protecting their heart or they might be confused. But absolutely the energy between the two of you, a little bit of confusion um, combined with a little bit of making sure that we are all right. So on their side, they are strategic and thinking about themselves. On your side, you are strategic and thinking about, your, about yourself because again we have a sense of unfairness right it's like we do not deserve this and yet it happened so i wonder why that's a whole energy right now you know and um again poor communication four of swords is a world of silence the hermit is a world of silence you know um so yeah but it's um and I know it's a sense of unfairness on your side and you feel like the world is against you and there is a sense of shame and there is a sense. Um, but on their side, um, Gemini, I do see genuine, right? Genuine stress and uh, an honest with a hermit um, energy is an honest um, um, soul uh, searching. So, um so I don't know who's manipulating or who's afraid that the other person is, but kind of the universe is saying, well, it's confusion and that's all, you know, let's not manipulate things here, believing that the other person has a strategy. It's a genuine, I don't no longer want to be stressed. I want a little bit of peace and I want to find myself in the process. Beautiful Gemini, coming your way, we do have the Ace of Cups and the Strength. This is um, loving new beginnings, strong new beginnings. Um, this is somebody being so emotional, coming your way. That is so much love. And the person bringing the love to you, uh, they are taming themselves, being on their best behavior, being cautious, being courageous. Um, and yet a very uh, well put, I would say, right? Uh, seated, right? They are not moving much. Now, the person you are dealing with, we have them with the Ace of Wands energy and the Three of Cups. Wanting a new beginning and being unhappy with how the things are going. This is a new beginning delayed and this person is, again, not having it, right? No, I don't want this. Um, absolutely, that is an offer on the table. It is for you. It is for them. That is still love in this. That is still passion. But as things are progressing here... They are not happy and you are probably tormented by by the waiting and the, again, unfairness of it, of lack of balance or whatever, however things are going. Mutual energies between the two of you coming your way. We do have the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. 
So final decision, we don't have a final decision for September, if I have to be honest. And we have you both hurting because no decision is made. Okay. And um, catching feelings, somebody here has Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. You have four aces, okay? Um, new beginnings in the past and new beginnings coming your way. I do believe uh, they are with this person because they want to break the silence and they re that is a sense of realizing the soulmate bond, body, mind. And it is a very important decision soon. The Emperor and the Two of Swords in Reverse. Um, finally seeing two of swords in reverse is no blindfolds and making that decision after long contemplation and the emperor is quite an important decision being made a very important decision being made I'm more sensing it is them towards you uh, because you receive the ace of cups and the strength last and emotional experience uh, a renewed emotional experience they have the last card it, it is in reverse so i am pretty sure they will make a very important decision when it comes to you um so gemini let's ask for some guidance let's see what exactly we need to do when it comes to this person so we do have religious factors your love life is influenced by um, your religious upbringing and spiritual path and for some of you, Gemini, this is what's tormenting you, right? That is justice and that is religion. So some of you, they might walk hand in hand, these um, two aspects of your life. And this is where everything goes all over the place with the Six of Swords. This is why we are tormented by religion, by values, by justice, by legalities, by pieces of paper, by decisions, by somebody's divorce, somebody uh, cutting out a contract of some sort. And it's just not in your books, you know. Um, I'm kind of um, sensing. So it's more of the universe making a statement. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So Gemini, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So this person bringing you passion and love. Um, you know, after probably cutting you off the, the minute you open um, your mouth to say something about. Um, actually, you know, the universe is guiding you all, first of all, look into the religious and legal aspects of it, and then it is safe for you to love very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Kind of this decision, a very important decision being made, right? That's exactly here. And um you know clearly decide what you want right you they need to make a decision you need to make a decision um and of course i want you to use your better judgment because in this um reading in this energy the universe is saying it is um it is okay to love them it is safe so make a decision now let's um ask for some more guidance let's see what we need to know and we do have serendipity and religious factors. So maybe some of you need to make peace with this difference. Uh, maybe you and your person, you come from two different cultures, ethnic backgrounds, um, religion and spirituality. And the universe is guiding you to find peace of mind when it comes to this. Um, love is more important, right? Than uh, boundaries and limits like this one, like religion and uh, legalities. It is safe for you to love and you have chivalry. So this is all about uh, manners. This is all about kindness. This is all about um, having class, right? And dealing with this situation from um, a, a place of generosity. And we do have the distorted masculine. So maybe something, some food for thought, chivalry and yet distorted masculine. Some, will, some of you, you need to see um, what is distorted about this person and um and you know bring the situation to a form of peace for some of you they may be a little bit you know because they have chivalry and distorted masculine so maybe this is something you need to t to teach them um something you need to work on and let me see what uh, completely 
uh, flipped from the deck and it is listen to your heart. You are listening but need to hear with a loving heart. You have chivalry, distorted masculine and listen with your heart. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. And we have doubt. We release doubt, right? I release the need to know all the answers. So in order for us to be at peace, bring some uh, peace of mind to this, uh, bring back love, we need to release doubt here, Gemini. We might be doubting for nothing. We need to bring back a sense of friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So kind of the universe saying, well, we have to trust them and that we need to uh, treat them as friends and lovers, right? Or as a friend or and a lover. Um, both are important in a connection. We do have surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. We have compassion. So we have serendipity, chivalry, and now we have compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. And bottom of the deck, surrender to receiving support and love. So they they need compassion, you need support and love. Um, because this is not over, right? Um, so allow, allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So it's interesting, we have another one, trust, and it's the same as doubt, right? It's all about trust. So you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So we release doubt about them and we trust our intuition. Um, so Gemini, this is all that I have for you guys. Please let me know what you think. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Stay safe.